Hi everyone, my name is McKenna Hudgens and for my journal article assignment I have chosen an article called Human Image in Blake's Poetry by Elma Dedovic Attila and Sinan Basirov. Excuse me. This article goes into detail and explores the presence or essence of the human being in Blake's poetry. The goal of this article is to explore every depth of humankind and that include and that includes the role of God, nature, animal world, and the differentiation of the world of adults as opposed to the world of children. In Blake's Song of Innocence, the theme of these works seem to be blissful, purity, and naivety, especially. A world of children and their unspoiled nature. The recurring characters are children and are powerful symbols in these works. The children know nothing of sufferings, inflictions, or malevolence. The nature is spectacular and pure. Everything seems optimistic in an ignorant sort of way. Of course, things quickly change in Blake's songs of experience as they move into adulthood. Dedovic Attila and Basirovic reference Harold Bloom and Frederick Hillis in, quote, the little black boy appears specifically as Christ on the flame flower of the divine image. He appears as Christ in the lower right, lifting a fallen man, and on the upper left, he appears as a female deity descending from the sky. In the frontispiece, the divine image is a child on a cloud. Excuse me while I turn my page. This quote references, references the works of Blake in Songs of Innocence brought together in one image, so to speak, where you see the image or what we know as an image of Christ, a deity of a woman, and the most profound image of a child on a cloud. And this to me is in a simplistic sort of, uh, in a simplistic sense, as Songs of Innocence is. I agree with the article because it sheds light on William Blake's poems, but also helps us to translate them into our lives in the in our world today in modernism and almost helps us to write our own songs of innocence and songs of experience. Thank you.